Okay, so P3.5, big energy issues. And what this topic is about is, if you were the government, how do you make decisions about energy supply? And a few things that you need to be aware of. Firstly is something called the demand curve. So if you look at how, so say if that was the amount of energy in megawatts here, and this is time of day here, then at midnight, and then one in the morning, two, three, four, five, so on, until you get to 24, you're going to notice that you're not going to have much in the way of demand when it's really early. And then when people start to wake up, the demand's going to increase. It might drop off again when people are, start to go to work and then increase again throughout the day. Okay. Now, what you've got is you've got something called a base load, which is about there. And that's how much energy you are making at all times, so this is known as the base load. And if you think about it, if you've got a nuclear power station, you can't stop it from making electricity. If you've got a coal or a gas or, a, or an oil one, they take time to heat up and cool down, so it's best to keep them running at a certain rate. That certain rate is whatever you want it to be, but it tends to be linked to your demand curve. And then on top of that base load, you've got um, things like you can increase your supply. And you've got two ways of increasing your supply. Either you can um, burn more gas, that's one of the fastest ways to increase your supply, uh, or you could release some stored energy. And what I mean by that is, in this section here, the demand is less than the supply so you want to store the excess and there's the main way that we do that is something called pumped storage and what that is is when you pump water uphill to be released later okay so you pump the water up the hill when you've got too much energy using the electricity that you've got. So here look, you've got the base load is above the demand, so you've got some spare. So you pump use that spare electricity to pump water uphill, and then you release it later. And the point you release it is any time that so on this bit here in the blue section. And you see that demand is greater than supply. So release stored energy. Okay, so what you do then is you let the water go, it turns turbines, it generates electricity, you then put that electricity into the national grid. But you only do that when your demand is greater than your base load. Remember the base load is what you're generating all the time. And then we've got some other variability in that. So if you think about previously when we were talking about solar, wind, wave, tidal, 
whatever it might be, any of these, they're not reliable, so you have to store their energy if it's made at the wrong time. So if you generate it when the uh, demand is low, then it needs to be stored. And that's any of these types of ones, any of the renewables which are unreliable. You need to store them when the demand is low. Okay, uh, China are doing something very interesting. What they're doing is they're using electric cars to store their energy because if, if you have a solar panel on your house, you can use that solar panel to charge the car battery if you wanted to and if you don't use it for driving well then you can sell it back to the national grid so that's a really interesting method so every house has got some big batteries in it for their cars which they can then generate using a wind turbine or using a solar panel power up the battery either drive the car or put it back into the national grid when the demand is higher that would be perfect 